or so. I am making the first fall soap for the year and this one is going to be pumpkin creme brulee. I have my oils and my lye are both right around 110 degrees and I think that is good. I'm going to go ahead and get my oatmeal and my kale and clay into my oils before I add my lye. This is the first time I'll be using this fragrance oil so I'm not quite sure how it's going to react. I haven't, um, I went to the website where I purchased it and there were no comments or anything on there so I really don't have any idea what to expect other than the fact that I'm pretty sure it's going to discolor to a brown color which is fine because that's going to fit in with the, um, the colors of the soap. I have, let's see what you can see here. I've got the camera much closer now, so I have to really watch what I'm doing. So I have um, an orange, an orange mica from Brambleberry. I'll put the exact name down below. I'm not sure what that is exactly offhand. I have gold or copper sparks, and this is from Nurture Soaps. And I have brown with a little bit of titanium dioxide in there. And this is also from Nurture Soap. And I think it's the mocha brown. And then I have uh, some ti titanium dioxide here. I'm going to put some aside for the top that I'm not going to add any fragrance oil to because I don't want any discoloration to this white. And yes, that was the mocha brown mica powder. And look, I even have the orange one close by. It's sunset orange mica, and that's brambleberry. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix quick. Get my kale and clay and oatmeal combined in. Sorry about the noise. I do have some titanium dioxide in there as well, uh, some sea salt and Tessa silk. Pouring close to my stick blender to help prevent any bubbles, air pockets in the soap. I usually don't have a problem with that anyway though. I also generally don't never have any lint in my lye water. I know I hear a lot of people talking about that and they strain theirs, but I don't know if you could see in there. I really don't ever have a, an issue with lint. There's a little bit of my salt on the bottom still. Okay, I'm going to rinse this out so that I have a pitcher to rinse my stick blender in. got my gloves again. I have an old t -sh an old shirt on, long sleeve shirt. I generally will just go grab an old long sleeve shirt out of my drawer that I don't really wear anymore just for uh, making soap because I do have a bad habit of burning my wrists. I always like rest my wrist on the bowls and then I end up with lye on my wrists and end up having to stop what I'm doing to go wash my wrists off. So now I've been kind of putting them in my gloves and keeping my wrists covered. I just ripped that one. 
today I have my um, my oils are all in. I've got uh, avocado, or I'm sorry, olive oil, coconut oil, lard, sunflower oil, and grapeseed oil. I'm super fatting at 5%. And there's some um, a little bit of extra super fatting with the oils that I use to mix my colors. Okay. I'm just going to mix this to a light trace because I'm not quite sure how the fragrance oil is going to work. I've never used it. And you can see how it's all combined now. You don't see any like loose oils floating around. Okay, sorry about that. I, I was losing you. <laughs> My camera just fell right over. I think I'm okay now. Hopefully this didn't set up too much while I was trying to fiddle with that. I'm going to try just stirring my colors in so that it doesn't get any thicker. It's a little darker than I wanted it, but I'm so afraid of the discoloration ruining my orange that I kind of put extra in there. I don't know. I might add some more titanium dioxide for that. This is a very pretty brown too. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it as well. Not much, but a little bit. And my copper sparks, so pretty. I could have left some of it uncolored, but not knowing exactly what shade of tan or brown it's gonna be, I was kind of afraid that it would just I don't know, kind of get lost in my dark brown hair. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be what it is. I love this color. Yeah, I think that's good. start with my main color here. my copper you know I really think it needs something lighter I think I might mix that white up that I'm saving for the top and use some of it for inside it needs more something something I'm going to use 
use my stick blender to see how white I can get this. some of this in there. I'm going to go up high. Okay. To my main color. Copper sparks. I do also want to apologize again for the last video I posted, the Neon Safari. I just had the worst time trying to edit that video. And it was a really long video and so I had found a spot in the very beginning where I was just kind of rambling on and I thought, well that's a good place to cut some time off. <laughs> And so I went into the editor and um, there's a area where you can trim your videos. And so I did that, trimmed out, trimmed out that part in the beginning where I was rambling. And then when I hit saved, that was actually the only part it saved. So it saved the part that I did not want and deleted the whole rest of the video. I was so upset because I had worked so hard on that soap and I really wanted a video of it. So yeah, I was not happy at all. Not happy. I did still load the cutting of it. I'm going to make it up though. I'm going to do a soap for the kiddos here pretty soon. Probably in the next day or two. And I'll try to incorporate some of the same techniques into that one. So that um, you can at least kind of see how I did that.
haven't decided what other fall soaps I'm gonna, going to make. I, I do know one other one. I have a um, apple crumb fragrance, so I'm going to do an apple crumb cake. And so I think that one would be a really nice fall soap. Hoping to get some of that white integrated in there well. Oh, I'm so worried it's going to be too dark. But... already hot. I'm not going to do any glitter. When I um, do the top I'll have some of that copper sparks on there so I think that'll make it uh, glittery enough. I'm actually going to let this set up for a few minutes before I add the white, the rest of that white to the top because it's kind of already starting to get too full on me. So I'm going to let this set up for a few minutes while I do some cleanup. And then I'll be back to put the white on. And then we'll also have some piping after that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and got my copper drizzle ready. For the top. I'm going to do a little bit of a design with the drizzle just because when I do um, some piping I'm only going to probably have like one dollop on one end of the bar and so I want some design on the other side of it as well. And I'm going to go ahead and try and get this white on without it disrupting my soap here.
been probably about 20 minutes, I guess. I washed up some of my dishes and took a break. Four hours, mm -hmm. but it's pretty set up here. Set up real good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my grandson keeps answering me because he thinks I'm talking yeah. to him. <laughs> yeah, grandma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's, the, it's a pumpkin soap. Yes, it's a pumpkin soap. It's so big. Mm -hmm. It's so big to me. It did go through gel. It did go through gel. Mm -hmm. Come on. So when I went to put it up for the night. I went to cover it and you can probably see here that I laid my cover on the top of the very end here on accident so some of my piping was squished. So that will be samples. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Let's see what we've got. Should we see how beautiful it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. Smell it. Fruity. Smells delicious, huh? Yeah, delicious. Smells like pumpkin. Smells like pumpkin? Yes. Pumpkin, yeah. It smells like pumpkin. Smells like pumpkin, too. Mm-hmm. So, a little bit sticky still. A little bit I'm sticky. I'm going to cut yeah. the end piece off here. It's a little sticky still. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Very sparkly, huh? Mm. Hopefully the pictures turn out better than this video does because I don't think it's really picking up all that pretty. Oh, that orange is so beautiful. Okay. Let's get into the good stuff now. Can you go get Grandma those paper towels right there? Mm-hmm. Thank you. See, I didn't put a whole lot of the white in there, but you can see it. You can see the copper sparks. Copper sparks. And yeah. the orange okay. has quite a bit of sparkle to it as well. Oh, terrible camera lighting. Terrible lighting, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cut a little piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Goodness. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. You want to smell it again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells mm -hmm. like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Smells like pumpkin. Goodness. Goodness. Oh, it's my dad. I'm trying to get a better angle for you guys. I hope that you can see it. It's really pretty. Mm hmm. Oh, I smell it again. You want to smell it again? <laughs> it smells mm. like pumpkin, too. Yes, it's going to smell like pumpkin all the way through it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. If one of them smelled like something else, we'd be in trouble, huh? trying to miss my little sugar bowl here. It needs to go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This sugar bowl is pretty. I don't eat sugar balls. No. They're a little bit sticky in yours. It smells like something else we get in trouble. I'm really impressed with this orange. Many times you get an orange and it doesn't really stay true to its color. Hopefully it will stay this orange through the cure. If not, that'll be okay. But I do like all the sparkliness of it. Hey, I wanted you to say that. You wanted to say that? Mm -hmm. This one's got a little bit more white in it. It smells like pumpkin, too. Mm hmm. It sure does. Mm hmm. It's, it smells like something else. Yeah. It needs to go back to stage a little more. Okay. Still smells really good. Mm -hmm. I like this fragrance oil. It 
worked well with with I my want uh, recipe. To smell it. Behaved very well. Two. It smells like pumpkin. I'm mm. not gonna be making any soap today. I don't think I have a lot of catching up to do on. Just paperwork, and I have some soaps that I need to wrap mm. and get labeled. It smells, and like, it smells like pumpkin, too. I have more to pull off the curing rack, and I've gotten behind since my vacation. I feel like I can't seem to catch up, because I'm also, also in the process of working on my house. We have a lot of work to do on this house no, that we here. bought. No, not here. Needs a lot of... That, too. Needs a lot of fixing. It needs a lot Smells of... Smells like pumpkin. Upgrades. Smells like pumpkin, too. Okay. Okay. Can you be quiet now so that Grandma can talk to all the people on the camera? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just am feeling like I need to focus on one thing at a time, and it's just hard for me to do that. <laughs> and these last two pieces are the pieces that got smushed. Please, I want to smell again. And this. I was my pumpkin. That's the pumpkin creme brulee. I'll take some pictures of these and throw those also at the end of the video. Have all the information below in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do that and come back and watch some more of my my videos. I will be doing a soap for the grandkids uh, probably tomorrow mm -hmm. and Puppy I've got some little that. soapy car embeds that we're going to put in it and uh, make it a real fun one for the kids. So <laughs> say bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>